So today we're going to show you how to scan a smaller part using a structured white light scanner called the GoScan 20. It comes in a, a rugged case, but it's not the peel color. There's the power supply. There are adapters inside, international adapters inside that hole. Here is the combined USP and power cable. And underneath the foam is the calibration plate. And you can see two boxes of targets in the top right hand corner of the foam. Don't touch the surface of the calibration plate because they are sensitive to finger grease. So easy calibration process, which takes a few seconds. Walk it away from the calibration plate and that's it. It's done. So now we're going to scan a part on a turntable. It's a good idea to have a turntable for smaller parts. Often there's not enough room on the, the object itself for very many targets. So you put the targets on the turntable or even on these little turtles. And the great advantage of that is it saves consumption of targets. The GoScan 20 uses three millimeter, much smaller targets than the Peel 1 or the Peel 2. And the other advantage, of course, of the turntable is you don't have to walk around the object. You can just turn it slowly and acquire all the surface. And indeed, if you wanted to acquire both sides of this object, you can just turn it over and scan it again and merge it later, the two parts in the software, with merge by target or merge by surface. Same technique, watch the bar on the left-hand side of the screen to make sure you're not too close or too far. He's right on. And then orbit so that you can see into all the crevices and all the holes with both cameras line of sight from the, from the scanner to the object. So he's going to do a little bit of cleanup before he's even actually finished the scan. He's just going to remove the, the artifacts and the objects around it. And that is the cleaned up result. Boundaries straightened and surfaces smoothed. Looks very good.